Class, class. Hey, everybody. Today we're on the farm again. Here are some of my friends. <laughs> and today we're going to read... The boys are fighting. Today we're going to read a story called Interrupting Chicken. Have you ever been interrupted? Do you know what that means? Have you ever interrupted your teacher or your mom or your dad while they were talking? It doesn't feel good to get interrupted sometimes. So this is Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. It was bedtime for the little red hen. <laughs> okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you all ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that, said Papa? My bedtime story. You like to have bedtime stories? said Papa. I'll read one of your favorites. And of course you're not going to interrupt me tonight, are you? Oh no, Papa. I'll be good. <laughs> Who else says that? They'll be good. <laughs> Hansel and Gretel. Ooh, have you ever read that one? That's a good one. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods they found a house made of candy. Nibble, 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 they began to eat the house until an old woman who lived there came out and said, What lovely children! Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't go in! She's a witch! So Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. What was interrupting Chicken doing? Chicken? Yes, Papa. You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm so sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. Okay, I'll be good. You think he'll do it this time? Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, I like that one. Let's see. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. But Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when... What do you think is going to happen? Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't talk to strangers. So Little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. <laughs> she did it again, didn't she? Mm. Chicken. Yes, Papa. You did it again. You interrupted two stories and you're not even asleep. I know, Papa. I'm sorry, but he was so mean. That mean old wolf. Yes. Now get back into bed. Okay, okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story and I'll be good. I promise. Chicken Little. Do you know this one? So Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and mourn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and anyone on the farm that the sky was falling. Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't panic! It was just an acorn. So Chicken Little didn't. The end. She did it again, didn't she? Oh my goodness. Guess who else is going to bed? Can you 
hear them? Chicken? Yes, Papa. You did it again. Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story, and I promise I will fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we are all out of stories. Oh, no, Papa. I can't go to sleep without a story. Then said Papa, yawning, "Why don't you tell me? To, why don't you tell me a story?" "Me tell the story?" said the little red chicken. "Okay, Papa. Here we go." Um. Bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories, and she even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all... She drew beautiful pictures, didn't she? Zzzz. Papa? Uh oh. What's Papa doing? He's already asleep. Good night, Papa. <coughs> the end. So nobody likes to be interrupted, right? So make sure that when you're talking with your friends or your family at home, that when they're talking, you're being a good listener. And Hopefully, when you're talking, they'll be a good listener.